Today we're going to look at single sideband modulation. Now we're given uh, the equation in this specific uh, MATLAB assignment where the single sideband signal is defined by the equation xt equals cosine 2 pi fmt cosine 2 pi fct plus sine 2 pi fmt times sine 2 pi fct where where FM here is the message frequency and FC is the carrier frequency. So then um, this task asks us to generate 1200 samples. So the first task is going to be uh, generating and plotting the double sideband uh, signal X1T cosine 2. So this first portion right here, that's going to be for task A. And then we're going to do a second double sideband uh, which is uh, the addition of the whole single sideband of the second part which is going to be the sine function so as you can see down here our FM is going to be the message frequency 50 Hertz then our carrier frequency is a thousand Hertz our sampling frequency is 20,000 Hertz our sampling time is 1 divided by the uh, sampling frequency n will be the number of samples so in this uh, specific task we have 1200 and then we can have a lowercase t and this is going to be defined down here when we're multiplying it by the time in the parentheses so task a how to do the first one is just going to be cosine 2 pi so you're just looking up here fc you get it from up here fmt and then FCT so then you can have the grid on and then figure one will be that first uh, sine wave and then you plot it and then you can uh, X label it Y label and then you can put a title on it now task two it asks you to generate the second double sideband which is the sine portion so task two over here the same exact thing you're using these uh, values up here and as you can see here it will do that now task C it asks us to plot the single sideband signal which is just the addition of what we did in task A and B and as you can see here it's fairly simple you just do X1 and X2 and it takes these two values right here and then it will plot that as X which we have here X equals and then task D we have obtain and plot the magnitude of the Fourier transform of the single sideband and then it says use these which we used right here so task D as you can see we FF we have to FFT shift and then FFT of the X which is what's up here and then this is the interval which we have to set and then that will be our figure four and then you plot it and it's 20 log base 10 of absolute of x which is what's up here and this so i've gone i've gone ahead and put everything in matlab as you can see it's the exact same thing you see here uh, go ahead and do that and then you go ahead and you run it and you will see the differing tasks so we have task one task two task three and task four as you can see these are the double sideband signal one as you can see this is the cosine one so it'll start from there from the one and then here it starts from the zero and then together it just these two combined will just give you this right here and then when you do the Fourier transform you'll see that there's two impulses so what happens is it gets rid of all the lower frequencies and it only takes them at the these are the only two signals that pass